Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight, all covered in green. Just got done with one of those drive the guy to the hospital missions you get now from the nightclub. So I got Tony's car. But I haven't been down to visit the uh, the showroom yet, and there's there's a com kind of a compelling sale going on. If you look at, I think we should go under Tudor. There it is. The uh, the Anis uh, S80RR is on sale. Instead of 2.5 million, it's 1.5 million, so a million off. Now, the trick of the matter is it, it can't hold a candle anymore. It may hold a candle, but where is it? There it is, the Benefactor LM87. This thing, which is almost $3 million, is a bit quicker and I've, I've done some testing with this with uh, Pancro Jones and this thing does have some kind of wild speed glitch going it goes completely crazy uh, depending on what circuit you're on at least the circuits we were on it was taking off from me and I was I was in a domestic eight so uh, yeah there's some stuff going on with this but for three million I'm not sure I'm I'm gonna probably get. I might like to hold off till some kind of sale happens, because you know, I still haven't had a chance to race my Pegasi uh, Torero. I had to get that. That was just an emotional buy thing. It was very expensive, but here's the trick. We're here now at the what should we call it? The luxury autos. And there's the Sprunkified Morgan. I have an Morgan. I don't need two Morgans, even one totally Sprunkified. Now, I do have... This would give me two SAs, but... Oh my goodness, this thing has the same issue as the other one. Is that it's got the... the uh, why is this? Whenever they put one of these out there, it's got no uh, spoiler. Which makes it, to me, a little bit more of a collectible because I think if you take it right in, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna get a spoiler. Oh man, what to do? Let's see, inspect vehicle. Why does it come without a spoiler? You make me buy one. Can you delete it after it's gone, or does it have a default spoiler? Yeah, it's not a true sprunk livery. The other one's a true sprunk livery, but it's also not on sale. Is it? Yeah, shut up, Martin. Um, that's a two door, isn't it? Yeah, Morgan. No, it's two million dollars for the Morgan. No, yeah, that's. I already have one that I won. Actually, I believe. I think that's a. A winner, winner, chicken dinner. And although that is extremely sprunked out. Maybe they all come that way. Let us put this. I'll put it in the agency. And let's ponder... This. I'd like to have one of these that I can actually race. Because as you know, I don't always go, you know, full try-hard here. Well, that's happening a lot quicker. Let's tune this puppy up. I'm missing the turn. Not paying attention to what's going on, you know? It's late night, I'm tired. This is this is happening right after the uh, the wide body Brioso video, so I'm even more tired. I think it's after midnight. 
after midnight. Fine, be that way. And there it is. Next to my my collection of uh, the soda cars here. Only this one's fully uh, fully upgraded. The others are just free cars with free liveries. And if I can change liveries afterwards, I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna just get rid of these because then I can just I can always get to them. But if they make these look some kind of limited edition thing, then I'll, I'll leave them here. I mean, this is my racing character anyway. Okay, check this out. It does deliver with a spoiler. All right. Just doesn't display with them. So my other car, without the spoiler, is the uh, the more rare thing. Oh no, that's that's an interesting and compelling thing too. Do we go with the rear arch covers? I think so. I think that keeps in the spirit of of the thing here. Armor, absolutely. Do all the basics. I'm not gonna do too many body mods to it. I don't think. Yeah, let's leave that stock. The lights, it's going to need front, back, sides. Neon color, crew. Which right now is a sprunk crew. Oh my gosh, sprunk it up. It's going to be all sprunkity doo da. Let's see, neon. Okay, do we want to go headlights, xenons? It seems like it should have xenons, don't you think? I haven't been hot on those as of late, but. That's a Chappelle. There's no... There's no Sprunk, obviously. Yeah, they would have used it. That looks kind of neat. But we're going to keep we're gonna keep this as it was in the window. Respray, not necessary. I, keep it. Now, I could completely crew this up and make it an utter Sprunk amazing kind of thing. With a Sprunk crew kind of thing. But no, let's, let's keep it as it was in the window. Remembering the event. Roof. Painted strip roof. Nah. Spoiler. Okay, see that says none. If there is one there, so it does make more sense. Carbon attack. Alt stock. See, that's interesting. If you want the stock one that is on it, then you just have to select that. I, we're going to do that. We're also going to look at the others that don't really do anything. Bodywork mounted. Bodywork mounted does look good. Let's, let's consider that. Bodywork mounted cleans everything up rather nicely there. But now we're going to keep uh, we'll keep this one on. As it was in the window. Trunk. Stock trunk. There's something calling to me from my childhood on this. I'm not sure why. The arches. I mean, I don't know. Is it the stripped down trunk that much better? Clearly, this has some some you know physics going on here. Bridge trunk. I mean, that's like almost ramp buggy kind of stuff here. Yeah, we'll, let's leave, just leave it stock. Give it a turbo. Wheels. Oh, let's see, we're not going to do anything with the, with the wheels. Let's go tires. Make a bulletproof. Crew smoke. Rank 35 in your crew to unlock this item. Really? Wow. Fine. 
is, uh, is green tire smoke no longer free? That was only for the first week of the event. Hmm. All right, close enough. Windows, light smoke as always. And we're done here. Let's let's take a look here. How's it look? Yeah, that that yeah, green is a, a close enough match, I think. Now this is supposed to be able to out down for us in RE seven B. And based on the initial feel. Okay, first of all, it doesn't act as a ramp buggy, just so you know. Based on the initial feel, this is very grippy. Almost makes you want to know if it'll go up Chiliad. Think we should? job my jobs why not I dare I say why not I haven't done a lot of these point to point super current current traffic um, yeah let's turn it off for right now Customs are on, ketchup is off, slipstream is on. Confirm settings, play. Just on my own. On my own. Now where does this slot in? There it is. See there's my my the one that I won off the wheel that doesn't does not have any spoiler. And this is the one that has a spoiler. Some rough things that happened to the face there. Okay, we're just seeing if it'll go up. I'm willing to bet, yeah. Not likely this is ever going to be used in a G Fred. Hey, and it pulled it away. It handled the water a little bit there. That's. I really haven't even tried to look for the exact proper point to hit that jump. I'm going to watch closely the next time I watch a G Fred. It's a little bit wide to ride the rails. But you get such a kick of speed when it gets on the little road part of it. You can really feel the off-road traction loss thing, which could be an issue. And the hot lap roof. It does tend to flip, doesn't it? It's going up pretty well. Ooh, looks a little, little floaty there. Whoa. It was going up pretty well until it hit that bump. Nothing here is four-wheel drive on this, I don't think. But it does have a lot of downforce and a lot of grip. So the faster you go, the more grip it should have. That having been said, if it bogs down, you're probably in serious... I, oh, I couldn't even see what was going on there. Okay. 
I can't even because of the angle here. Okay, that'll work. Because it was going up such an angle, I couldn't see going ahead of me. That's not something you, I've noticed a lot in doing this. Got a real close angle here now. I, I think, whoa. I think that's got a huge curb boost there, a huge uh, bounce boost of something there. Or it just got that much acceleration. I don't know. I don't want to yeet this off the, the mountain just yet. I think it's got so much grip and so much power. It's so yeetable, you gotta be careful. It has heatability. Now where's the best where is the best line down this? I never know. For the for the hundreds of G Freds I've watched, I mean I know it's roughly down this way. Oh, this thing really was bouncing and flying. And then then you transition to this ridge, right? I'm just letting it go. Ooh, that was nice. That quick that quick turn there when I would I let it go, let it kinda of compose itself. That was weird because it wasn't really powering down as fast as I wanted to, it was just kind of humming along. So yeah, up and down Chile had no problem. It's about as expected, really, for a car with this much grip. Are we going to put it in the river? Almost. I don't even know how that happened. Luckily, we have magic physics of GTA where you just turn the wheel and the car flips itself around. And that was a power flip. But it was the power of Sprunk that brought us through here. As we add one more sprunk vehicle. To the fold. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. That wasn't what we wanted. It's wide. The wideness will bite you sometimes. But if I ever found myself in a uh, G-fretting situation and this car was available, I'd absolutely take it. It's a good one. That would have to be in a Project Homecoming kind of situation, but you never know. What if they update the, uh, what if they update the traffic? I don't even know if I've made the right turn here, but we're going to just aim for the yellow dot. Yeah, we're good. It, it doesn't like the bumps. It kind of does like the bumps, because I do get the sense that it's uh, getting boosted, but whew. They're a little bit bouncy. I didn't take the proper jump there, but it's okay, because the car is forgiving. What caused it to spin like that? The something caught it a little bit. It's got yeet ability. It's yeeted. Ugh. It's a little hard on the fencing there, but. Interesting that it would slide that much, considering its grip. 
You finish first, of course, because I finished alone. Seven come eleven in the green, the lucky green. Not a lot of money to be made, but that's okay. It's okay. Number 386. That's uh, rank 386. Classic computer thing. It's a good looking car. One that was probably a long time coming. As far as entering the entering the fleet. Glad to do as part of this wonderful Sprunk event and go Sunny Evans and go Sprunk. That's pretty Sprunky. There are Sprunk here. There are Sprunk here. We could, but I don't think we put the crew emblem on it. Would that would that help? Want to hang out with me while we do that? Or we're kind of where's the closest place I could pull that off? Probably here. No, we can take it along with some windy curves. Taking it along. Some windy curves. I can't, I don't know that I can take them flat out, well, especially looking like that. But I'm very nearly. Oh, this is dicey. Oh, it has such grip. If that if that if that truck hadn't been there, I could have taken that whole section flat out. I think I mean, this is really. You, you have to have so much courage to get the full use out of this. That could be grippy that way. We could get down there that way too, though. How does the sprunk? True emblem look on this. I, I know I put that on knowing that when I change it back to base, it'll change it back to base to the base emblem. But you know, repair vehicle. Go to respray. That's why we missed it. We didn't go to respray. Crew emblem. Sprunk in the middle of the chapelle. That does not look like it's worth twenty-five thousand dollars, does it? Chappelle sprung. That's stupid. Okay, we're not doing that. <laughs> this is the Chappelle show, right? Aha! And I wonder what rank I am I. But I need to get to 35 to get crew smoke. Where do I have to go to? I have to go to stats. Stats. I don't know why my strength looks like it's down. Have I not punched enough people? Lung capacity? That should be better. Info? Ah. Oh well, we just got gonna know. If we did another job, well, we did that other job. I probably showed, and I just didn't notice. So you can, you can wind back, look at when we did the uh, little mini, mini race there. The that section of a G Fred. We. Why was that? Why did that fail? We landed. Perfectly smooth. All right. Well, just out of just out of sheer symbolism, let's do this. Let's bring it back to the garage. I mean, it's not a super challenge because I mean we're we're, we're not we're not invite only. No one's gonna come down on us with an press remark, douche. Uh, 
I am having a lot of fun driving this, though. This is nice. Did someone just say crash? Yeah, that was what it was. It was a crash. Was too perfect. Okay, so we got it home. Well, let's do this. If I get in it. And vote for Sprunk. Gotta keep voting for the Sprunk. I guess we'll call it an on that note kind of moment. And it kind of does fit in right here. You know, these are, these are all kind of sprunk memory kind of thing. Memories of the sprunk. Don't look at the E. cola. Just look at the sprunk. <laughs> Alright, folks. I'm going to go get myself some more sprunk upstairs before I go to bed. But for right now, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night.